Hey everybody, I'm Jamie Proviance here in the backyard of David Leet, publisher of LeetsCulinaria.com. Yes. Terrific website. And David is really one of the premier food writers in this country. I really oh, admire it's his style. Jamie. You'll see him in Bon Appetit and the New York Times and Savour. He knows a ton about food, um, but he's a little unsure of grilling fish, yes. which is not uncommon. Especially fish. I know a lot of really good cooks um, who are unsure about grilling fish. So I've come here to this lovely home <laughs> in Connecticut to, to give you the, the basics. And yes. it's really not that difficult. I'm gonna show you in a matter of just a couple of minutes. We're grilling salmon here today, which is really a nice choice, particularly if you're beginning, because it's a firm fish, so it yes. has a better tendency to, ho to hold together. A lot of fat, too. It has some oil in it, yeah, and that's gonna help to keep it nice and moist. Mm -hmm. So those are working in our favor. The other things that are really important relate to the grill. So let me show you here. Okay. I've got the grill preheating, all right? It's up around, uh, oh, it's over 500 degrees now, which is great. Isn't that hot for fish, though? You know, a lot of people think that. They think, oh, fish is relatively delicate, so I should mm, use maybe yeah. a more delicate heat. If you don't want it to stick, high heat is your mm, friend. Okay. Okay? Um, high heat and also a clean grate. You want to get in there with a good brush and get all those little bits and pieces on there, you know? Last night's hamburger stuck to the grate is going to stick to your salmon. Okay. And it's going to be on there, you know, forever and a day. Now, I've already oiled the fish itself. I like to oil the, the fish rather than the grate. You All find right. that some people actually do oil the grate. And you go down flesh side down. I like to go down. flesh side down because this is the side that's going to face the guests. And okay. you'll see when it's searing there on those hot bars, it's going to have those beautiful cross, or not necessarily cross hatch, but stripes okay. that look, look really, really nice. So the most important reason for putting the lid down is to keep that grate really hot. Okay. Because a hot grate is going to help the salmon release from the grate. I'm using here what I call the 70-30 rule, and this is really the key to the uh, whole You thing. said this to me earlier, okay. Yeah, this is a what chef's is it? technique. It basically means that you cook the fish for 70% of the time on the first side and 30% uh, on the okay. second. Okay? okay, so longer on the first so that there is time for it to release. Well, you see, the fish always sticks initially, mm -hmm. and the problem is that people try to turn it too early yeah, well, before guilty. it is unstuck or, or, yeah. or released. Yeah. Right, and disaster. Yeah, and it falls apart, it goes through the grate, and there's your dinner, yeah. and you know, you're know you calling Chinese takeout or exactly. something like that. But if you wait just a couple of minutes, so this is really an exercise in patience more uh, than anything this else. This is zen cooking. Yeah, you got to just be with the fish and let it do what it has to do. Okay. And you'll see, you can actually just roll the fish over once it is released easily. You're going to have to show me that. I'll you're going to have to show me rolling fish over. A few minutes away, we'll get there. All right. Okay, so you grab the fillet on each side with mm -hmm. tongs and you just kind of wiggle your wrist back and forth and you'll feel if it's still sticking. And if it is, close the lid and let it go another minute or so. But okay. I can feel that this is rocking really easily. So I can just now roll it over. Oh my. Like that. So easy. I don't know what you were so scared of, Are you David. kidding? Just a you couple know how many of times I've grilled <laughs> fish and it's just stuck to that grill grate that I had? So now we're just going to go a couple of more minutes on the second side, you know, until it gets to the doneness that you want. Turns out the second side does not stick. Okay, it, it just, it has already begun to cook because of the heat reflecting off of the, of the lid. Right. And it just never is a problem. Interesting. So we'll just let it go till it's done and then we're done. Great. What I want to do now is show you a little technique for getting it off of the grill that would be without good. the skin. Yeah, I'm going to just put my spatula between the skin and the flesh. Right. I'm going to hold it steady and just slide the spatula right over the skin. Genius. Okay. And now you've got the fully intact, beautiful, grill marked, luscious salmon. Genius. There you go. And then you can take the skin off as well. And if you want to eat that, you can. Some people like it, some people don't. So I put a little finishing touch on our grilled salmon. Yes, and now what is this lovely melange well, color? Well, it's a, it's a nectarine relish with That's some lovely. jalapeno and it's some green. red onion, a little lime dressing. Lovely. Yeah. You know, I, I would say all in all, this was pretty easy, right? I mean, I think we've cracked the code now on grilling on fish. On grilling fish, I would say sticking. so. Yes. Yeah. What would you say is the most important thing to remember here? Oh, I hate quizzes. <laughs> um, the 70-30 rule? That's great, yeah. Hot grill? A hot grill, a clean grill. Clean grill, and patience, patience, patience. It's yeah. the zen of cooking. Yes.
You must wait. You must, you must wait. Be one be with the one fish. Be one with the fish. Let it release. <laughs> exactly. And you will, you will be released and, yourself. And you will be richly rewarded. This is wonderful. Great. That's it. So we're done? We're done. So I'll see you. What do you mean? <laughs> hey, David. I'm hungry. David. I'm sorry. Hey, David.